I found a bunch of Harry Potter stuff. We have our own, but they did it. So they made. Hi everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Today we're gonna be doing a vlog style video. We're gonna be checking out Five Below to see what Harry Potter items they have. We're gonna be trying some Harry Potter menu items at Starbucks, and we'll see what else we get up to. Maybe some fall decor shopping, we'll see. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, before we leave, I wanna show you some things we're kind of working with. This is my entry table. I recently purchased some of these items. So I got this one at Home Goods. It's so pretty. And then I got this little guy at Target. It's from the Hearth and Hand line. I also got this one from Target. Hi, Bella. <laughs> she wants to know what we're up to. And this one is the Harvest Spice from Hearth and Hand, $5.99. So I just got these over the last weekend. So that was those, and then I got this little pumpkin from like that dollar to five dollar section in Target. So this item was three dollars. So that is this little area so far. And I also got this super cute pillow from Home Goods. I think it was $12.99. I showed a lot of these items over on my Instagram. So if you aren't following me on there, go ahead and do so. I got this fall blanket last year at Home Goods, and I just love little tassels, and it's so soft and it looks so cute. So here's kind of the overview of what we're working with. Here are some of my pictures of me and my husband and my dog, Bellatrix. She's so cute. This is her when she was a puppy. Here is more of an overview of this area. So cute. So we'll see what else we can add. Maybe find a different fall rug. All right, let's head out. I'm back from Five Below and you would have saw I found a bunch of Harry Potter stuff. So I bought almost everything besides the Harry Potter like AirPod case because I already have one so I didn't need one. I don't want to spend five dollars on it but I thought it was super cute but I did go ahead and buy everything else. All right so I got this unofficial amazing activities for Harry Potter fans. So there's like crosswords, there's like coloring stuff, it's colored in, all kinds of cool goodies. When I get back home, I'll show you all this stuff a little bit more up close, but just quickly here, I got an unofficial Harry Potter word search, the unofficial Harry Potter spell book, and then I got a bunch of candies. So they had these like mystery chocolate ones, 50% um, off because they're expiring soon. So they were only $2 instead of four which I feel like their candy was kind of expensive, but I don't know if it's like that everywhere. And then I got the chocolate frog, and then I also got the jelly slugs. That is everything at Five Below. I feel like they had quite a lot of Harry Potter stuff, which is pretty nice to have that option to get some things at like an affordable value. So I love Five Below. They have some fun little finds, and it is so hot right now. Oh. I have my beautiful water bottle which keeps everything nice and cold while I leave it in the car. But anyways, let's go ahead and head to Starbucks, see what Harry Potter drink I can try over there, and then we're gonna head to, I think, Marshall's after that. Acceleration and it's pinpoint turning. They were halfway toward the castle when Harry... And that'll be it. I went to Starbucks, I'm gonna show you what I ordered and then show you what it looks like. So someone tagged me in a drink and it was the Luna Lovegood Refresher. So here is the Luna Lovegood Refresher that I just ordered. So what it is is a Venti Mango Dragon Fruit Lemonade with a light kiwi base, light strawberry puree, and then on top it has sweet cream cold foam with strawberry puree blended in it. So then it kind of has that like really pretty 
look to it and it's a Luna Lovegood refresher. So I just ordered it. It's like chaos here in Florida right now because it just started pouring out of nowhere, which is just Florida fashion. And as I'm trying to order this long winded drink, it was pouring and thundering like worse than it is right now. And my car is completely soaked. I'm half soaked, but they did it. So they made the Luna Love Good Refresher. It has a lot of sweet cream cold foam on it, but look how pretty. Oh my gosh, you can see right here. That is so pretty. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. A lot of times when you get stuff like this, it doesn't really taste that good. I'm gonna try to drink it from here, but I did get a straw as well because I don't know if I'm just gonna get that cold foam, but let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm, that's pretty good. I don't normally get refreshers from Starbucks because I'm way more of a, a coffee drinker, but that's pretty good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is really good. Okay, so this tastes like, like, um, like strawberries and cream. I know it has like dragon fruit and mango and kiwi and all those flavors. But mainly what I'm getting from it is a strawberry flavor. I do get like a little bit of mango too, but I think that cream on top, because it mainly has strawberry in it. But look how pretty. Luna Lovegood would be proud. <laughs> this is so cute. Look how gross it kind of looks though. Really close because it's that cream mixed with like the tea and lemonade. But on top with the like purple, it looks really pretty. Kind of far away, it looks really pretty. That looks so cool. And I don't think I'm gonna put a straw in it because I think this is the best way to drink it because you really do get all of it. And with the straw, I would probably totally skip the cream or the foam. I keep calling it cream, the foam on top. So yeah, I like it. I would recommend trying it out. I'll leave down in my description box below how you order it and like the article that I found it from. But I definitely think it's worth a try. This was a lot of fun. All right, now I'm gonna be going to Marshall's. I'm gonna check and see what their fall decor looks like. And sometimes they have Harry Potter finds. We'll see, I'll look around. Sometimes like mugs and whatnot, but I'll check it out, see what they have, see if it's a hit or miss. And then I think I'm gonna head over to Kohl's last before I head home and see if they have any Harry Potter goodies there as well. But let's go ahead and get to it. All right, I just pulled in here and I completely thought that this was gonna be a Marshalls, but it's a Ross. <laughs> But I think they're sister companies anyways, but it's not a Marshalls. We're going to Ross and we're gonna see if they have anything because that's what I have near me. And then we'll check that out and then we'll head to Kohl's. All right, so I am back at my house now and I found just one thing at Kohl's and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff I got at Five Below. So before I went to Kohl's, I did stop into Ross. I didn't find really anything that I wanted to purchase. Here was their fall decor items that they had. It was pretty picked over. They didn't have a lot of selection, but they had a couple cute things. There were some of their bowls. They also had some really cute fall and Halloween blankets and pillows. I love this happy Halloween one. And then I did check and see if they had any Harry Potter mugs, but no luck. Some Disney, some Scooby-Doo ones, a pair of shoes randomly on the shelf. It was pretty messy there, but nothing Harry Potter. And then right before I was leaving, something did catch my eye. I saw this super cute head wig, and it's a travel pillow. And this was retailed for $8.99. And not only did they have a Hedwig pillow, but they also had this cute Hogwarts one as well. So those were the only Harry Potter finds I saw at Ross and nothing fall related that I liked that I wanted to pick up from there. And for those Harry Potter finds, I didn't end up purchasing them because I don't need any travel pillows, but I thought the Hedwig one was super cute. And then I headed over to Kohl's to see some of their selection. So here are the few things that I saw at Kohl's. So Kohl's had these really cute Harry Potter backpacks and they were 25% off. There was this really cool Hogwarts hat that was $22. And then this fun like miscellaneous one. There's this one that looks like a Hogwarts letter. I like the wax seal stamp there. I thought that was cute. And then this Hedwig one with a little charm. 
of a Hogwarts letter. They had one shirt in the juniors department from the Sorcerer's Stone. And then they also had some over in the men's department. They had these four different designs. I really like the gray Hogwarts one. They were two for 20 and just one ended up being $15. So I didn't end up grabbing it, but I think I might come back for it. And they also had all the Harry Potter paperback books as well. So that was all the Harry Potter finds I saw at my Kohl's near me. I also seen that they had these really cute like plush Harry Potter items, but they didn't have any at the local one by me, but you can still get them online and they are only at $10 a piece. I've been really wanting the Crucianx. I'll pop it on the screen here so you can see which one I'm talking about. Maybe I'll purchase that in the future, but what I did end up getting was in their fall decor area. So I got this fall rug. And it actually is a bath mat, but I'm gonna use it for my entry door because I didn't like the other ones that they had. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can get all of it in the screen, but it's this really cute fall one that just has the outline of some leaves and acorns. I thought that was very cute. So I did grab this and this one retailed for $34.99. It was on sale for $24.99 and then I had a 20% off coupon. So I brought it down to just 20 bucks. So. I think that's a good deal and I'm really happy with that find. All right, now that I've showed you this and I kind of showed you my entryway earlier, I will show you my new placement for this rug and I didn't add anything else to my entryway so that's still going to look the same but at least we can go ahead and add this now. All right, here is that new front door mat. So cute, it is a bath mat but I don't care. It's for inside so I think it's fine. Now here is that front entryway mat with everything else coming together. Bella, you like it? You like the new mat? You think it looks cute? I think you look cute. And the other thing I want to get here is definitely like a garland, like a really pretty foliage of leaves or something across here to kind of fill in that gap. But so far I'm liking how everything is coming out. I do have a different pillow to put here instead, but it's more Halloween, so I haven't put it out just yet. Next was the Five Below finds. I know I showed some of them in the car, but I wanted to show you some more close-ups of everything I got. I can't believe they had so many Harry Potter goodies. The first thing that I got was some Harry Potter candy over at Five Below. So first thing are the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean, and they mean every flavor. So they've got all those nasty ones, vomit, all kinds of nasty ones, and then they've got some good ones as well. They've got like green apple, lemon, cherry. So never know what you're going to get. Then there's these jelly slugs. So these are just like a gummy chewy candy. And here are the flavors that they come in for the jelly slugs. And then I got two chocolate items. So I've got the chocolate frog and it does come with a chocolate card. So that's always fun. And then I got a mystery creature chocolate bar, which has expired already it says 821 which when i bought these i knew they were 50 percent off because they were like expiring but i thought expiring soon i mean i'm sure they still taste fine it's the 28th right now and this expired oh, like about a week ago so i'll have to eat this today so let's go ahead and see what it looks like see which creature we got we got fluffy so cute so it says fluffy even on the bottom and this is that kind of chocolate with the little crunch pieces inside little crispy pieces but that is so cute and it looks fine so i'm still gonna eat it mm -mm -mm. tastes great and it also comes with a sticker which i thought the sticker would match the creature but it's aragog ew i hate spiders <laughs> and i've gotten this before i mean for a week old candy, it's not bad. All right, then I also got three books. So they're not just any books, they're kind of like activity books. So the first one is this unofficial Harry Potter word search. And this was $4.25. So it is a puzzle book. I'll show you what the inside looks like. So they're kind of themed. So this one says Harry at Hogwarts. And then this one says Fat Lady Corridor. So then there's the words down below. So for like the fat ladies, it says password, portrait hole, security trolls, fat lady. So then you just kind of search for them throughout here. I think this will be so much fun 
to do when I just have some free time. So there's plenty to keep you busy. Like this is a pretty thick book for just $4.25. I think that was a good find. Then there was this book, which is a hardcover book for $5. And it's the unofficial Harry Potter book of spells. Look how nice it is. It's colored in. It's not like it's just black and white. It has all this like red color to it. And then it has everything about spells in here. Here's one that we all know, Lumo. So it shows you the spell movement, the use, and what it is and everything. So that is so cool. So you can learn about other spells. It even tells you how to pronounce it, how to use it. That's pretty cool. I will definitely take a look through a lot of these. Oh, there's like handwritten notes in here too. It says like a handwritten note in here that says, don't know anyone other than Voldemort who would want to exist in an incorporeal form. So that's so cool that it has kind of like little handwritten pieces. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that is the spell book. Here's the backside. So that was a cool find. Very happy about that. All right, last but not least, we have another unofficial Harry Potter product so this one has activities for Harry Potter vans and this one was four dollars but I've seen these at Barnes and Noble in like books a million and I feel like they were double the price at least ten dollars but this one has a lot of stuff inside so a five below fine was great we got connect the dots we've got a little mandrake how cute you've got pages that you can color in you've got crosswords there is so many activities in here. So this is another cool one to pass the time. So that is cool. Here is the back side. So that was a really cool $4 find at five below. But that was everything I found today out shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing that and shopping with me today. Doing like kind of a little vloggy type style. But I have one more thing I want to do with you guys before we leave. And it's kind of like a quick DIY. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> so recently I purchased something off of eBay and something off of Etsy that I want to put together. I think it's gonna be really cool and fun. Okay, so I got this little like wizard's trunk off of eBay. Isn't this so cute? So it's just like a vintage looking trunk that they were selling. It wasn't like meant to be Harry Potter, but it does open up. So the clasp here opens up and then inside, oh, I've been moving this around too much. <laughs> it's just like this little like jewelry kind of case, or you can just take this completely out and have it just as a trunk because there's plenty of room to put things in here, or you can have this just in and then you can still put stuff underneath it. I thought it was so cool. Like how nice is that? It's got this little like metal piece here that kind of keeps it propped open if you want to or you can just shut it and put the clasp down to lock it in place but look how nice it is so i've seen like these little mini wizards trunk on the harry potter store so right now everything's coming from the uk they used to have it open to the us and you didn't have to pay like extra fees for purchasing internationally so now it's kind of more expensive to purchase off of their shop. And other than that, in the US, the only other store I believe you can get this at is the New York store, which I did see it when I went, but at the time I didn't want to purchase it. Cause like the mini trunk retailed for about $60, I believe on their website right now is that that's how much you can get it for. But it has the Hogwarts crest on the front and then you can get it customized and add your initials on the side which I'm not gonna be adding my initials on it right now. I probably will later on, but I would want to use like a stencil because I just don't trust myself painting with like gold. But I did buy this little decal off of Etsy and it's in this really pretty like gold foiled sticker. And then they give you little instructions on how to place it so you don't ruin it. But what I wanna do is place it right here and down in the middle to make it like officially a Hogwarts trunk because it is so cute. But this one I got off of eBay. I believe it was free shipping maybe, or the shipping wasn't that much. Maybe it was like $5, but it was 25 bucks on eBay. And I've seen other people purchase them off of eBay before. I'm not sure if they got them from the same seller or not because I think they got it even cheaper than that. But I got mine for $25 and then I got the sticker for about $5 and I think free shipping. 
So this total came to $30 to create this trunk, which I think is so nice because it's so much more affordable that way. It's half the price of what you can buy online of the like official Harry Potter merch. And you can totally do this yourself. So let's go ahead and add this sticker on here and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I angled my camera down a little bit more. So it says, first we need to clean the surface with rubbing alcohol. I don't really wanna put rubbing alcohol on this. I think it's fine. Um, we'll see if I should have done it. Peel off decal from the paper backing, labeled A. Oh, so this is A, this is B. Peel very slowly. Bottom pieces want to stay, like the Hufflepuff, do you see that? All right, I got it. <laughs> that was nerve wracking. So I only have one, so I can't really do this twice. So now it's off. Now place the decal on your desired surface. Use a squeegee or credit card to press firmly to apply a smooth out decal. Slowly remove the transfer paper labeled B. Okay. Oh no, I put it down. <laughs> Is it straight? <laughs> I think it might be crooked. All right, that's it. That's my placement. I really think I put it on crooked. That's gonna bother me forever. But there's nothing I can do. It's already like so sticky. So that is there. <laughs> I have no luck with this. If you saw my like Harry Potter car haul, I did something similar with one of these kind of stickers. I have like, this Queenie wand pen I think I'm gonna use. Same concept. All right. We're gonna peel it back super slowly. Okay, that looks amazing. You guys see that? <gasps> All right, let me bring the camera out. All right, we have our own official mini Hogwarts trunk. Look how good that looks. And it has a pretty foiling. I mean, I think I did a little bit crooked. I don't know if you could tell though. It looks fine. That looks so good. I am super happy with how this has turned out. Then later on, I will add my initials on here. So hopefully I can do that soon. I think I definitely wanna wait until I have a stencil. So I don't wanna mess it up now that I have this little trunk, but it's so cute. I love that. Okay, so I'll probably put extra little bits and pieces. Like right now I have like a little trunk that's on my bookshelf and I put like extra pins and stuff that I don't have like displayed in there. So like things like that is probably what I'll put in here. Things I can't really display that's small, like stickers maybe or whatnot. So that's really cool. Maybe even some Harry Potter jewelry that I'm not using. Really, really happy with this. So that's everything I have for you today in this like little like vlog slash haul. So we found some Harry Potter goodies, some fall items. Are you guys ready for fall? When do you start decorating for that? I think I'm gonna start going all out in the first week of September, which is just right around the corner. We are at the end of August already. We've got back to Hogwarts coming up. So I'll have a video especially dedicated to that. So make sure you're on the lookout. We got the Luna Love Good Refresher at Starbucks which was a lot of fun and I definitely recommend trying it out at least once just to kind of see what it tastes like because that was such a cool drink and I'm definitely happy that I was able to try it today and I'm definitely happy with all the little Harry Potter goodies that I found and anything that I mentioned in today's video that I can find online, I will link down in my description box below. They might still have some more of these trunks from the eBay seller because I think they had more than one for sure, or I'll find something similar to link down below and the Etsy sticker as well. I'll all be down in my description box. <laughs> so I know this was a different type of video that I have done so far on this channel. So if you wanna see me do more like this, a more like casual shop with me, do some Harry Potter inspired things out in the real world, let me know in the comment section below. But as always, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.